believe is now episode 20. And today, it's a taste of Brunei. And I'm looking at what's coming up thinking, this could be the first time I've had to say, what am I doing? I've got the ingredients all here. It's probably gonna be a short video because there's really not much to it. I've got some chopsticks ready, gonna give a go. If that fails, I've got my spoon and fork, which is in the UK, I don't know if it is traditionally, what we, pretty much how we eat spaghetti bolognese, so I think it will work the same way. One jug of lukewarm water. I have here some dried shrimp in chilli oil and black bean sauce. Here I have some shrimp paste. And what I'm going to do first, if I move that, this is, um, you can use sago starch, tapioca starch, potato starch, that sort of thing. That's what's in there. I am going to mix the paste with the dried shrimp salt, which... Add a little bit of water. Lovely. What do we think of that? There we go, that's what that looks like now. And put that to one side. And now, I've got a couple of hot green chilies. I'm just gonna chop the ends off. And then I'm gonna very quickly just chop them up and put them in seat and all in the sauce. They are flying everywhere, but I'll catch them. They won't go off the table. In the sauce they go. Nice hot green chilli, seeds and all. Some seeds escaped, but most of them are there. That's the green chilli in there. I'm gonna mix that round. Here we go. This is, this is my 400 grams of uh, starch. <clears throat> oh, by the way, this is called the ambouillette, or something like that. Um, we're going to do our best. So I'm going to zoom you in close to that and what we're going to be doing now is pouring some lukewarm water on it to dissolve it. It's not really a fixed amount. Just pour it in and stir it till it's gone. is disappearing beautifully. It's nearly all dissolved. I think that's dissolved. So now we're going to pour boiling water in and stir until you start feeling it start to curdle. Maybe the easiest task I've ever had and could come out the worst. Starting into, it's starting to thicken up. There is hope. Not much, but there's hope. That is what I was looking for. 
I thought it was never going to happen, and it happened. That is pretty much it. So what we need to do now is get some in a bowl. Oh, that's so hot! And we've got our dip here. Now we're going to try it. They do it somehow like this and then twist it round, but I can't use them. So, where's my sp oh, I'll put it in the chili. That's actually come out better than I thought. And I know what you're thinking, what are you talking about? You've just mixed water and powder, how hard can that be? It's probably the one so far I've been most worried about. I wonder if I can get some on a spoon, twist it round. Mine's quite, maybe a bit thinner than it usually is. How about I just use a spoon? That's lovely. And then we have a dip in the sauce. Maybe not that much. I've got to have some more because I can't believe it. It's actually not too bad. It's the texture of this. Look, oh. That is so disgusting. Oh, the chilies. Ah, oh, too much chili in there. Don't! So, what you have to do is. What? What is that? Dinner. Uh, you want to try it something? Looks absolutely disgusting. Why does it look like some sort of spoon? Do you want to try some? What you do is you get a little bit on the spoon. Oh, that's rank. A little dip in the sauce. That's rank. There we go. Come on, come round. I've got a face mask on. Oh. I've got this on my head. I don't know. You only been eating a bit of ambouillette. I can't, I can't. What the, the, come on, you're not even going to taste, you're not even getting any. I can't. Get some on the spoon. I really can't. The sauce is actually all right. That stinks. <laughs> no, I'm going to be sick. Look, you want some? I can't. I don't like it. <laughs> I really can't. I'm looking at that and <laughs> I just can't. I'd never say that about anything but that. How long did this take to cook? Oh no. Nice, nice big bit, like that. Go on then. Ooh. Dip it in the sauce. Oh, go on then, go on then. That is. You're vile. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> Brunei. I am so sorry. I love you and all. But I cannot eat that stuff. The shrimp, the shrimpy sauce, I could handle that. Mm -hmm. It's the texture of this stuff. It's. You used the whole bag of paint. Yeah, I'm not going to use it again, am I? Yeah, you're right, yeah. The texture of it is like. It reminds me of the glue you used to use in primary school to stick cards and paper together. <laughs> See the texture of the taste. The, the, there isn't much taste. The texture is just... Welcome back to a taste of Brunei. We may have just found the first food I can't tolerate. But there are positives, and the positive to this is the sauce, the chilli oil, dried shrimp, black bean sauce with shrimp paste mixed in and a couple of hot green seeded chilies was absolutely delicious and is definitely something I will make up again in the future to put with something else. The 
sago starch part of the dish needs no explaining. I'm pretty sure you've worked out what I thought of that. Feel free to give it a go. It's certainly something weird and wonderful, easy to knock up and easy to chuck in the bin or down the sink afterwards. What can I say? We did it, we gave it a go. Feel free to have a go yourself. I hope I haven't put you off because we should always taste something. We all have different taste buds and you might like it. But that's the first thing I haven't been able to tolerate. And I'm gonna put a challenge up. I don't think there'll be another one. Or it might may be a long time before we find something else I don't like. Thanks for joining me. Until the next episode, I'm off now to wipe and booyah off my top and have some Japanese spicy noodles. See you soon.